Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vietnam's Strong Market Opportunities. It's an honor to be with you today. And if you want to open a legal trading account, please contact us with the email vietnamstrongmarkets.entry at email.com. Telegram Vietnam Strong Market Entry with the phone number is 8491-432-6556. Or you can also scan the two QR codes on the screen so that we can support you. And the other way to contact with us is please follow and subscribe the channel name Erika Capital Channel. The owner of this YouTube channel is Erika Hong Nguyen. She is a personal financial advisor and a Viet Capital Securities stock program manager. You can contact her with the email homedongwin at vcsc.com.vn with the phone number is 8491-432-6556. And we always welcome you to our office on the 11th floor, 109th Street, Hong Kong District, Hong Kong, Vietnam. And today we're going to share with you about Vietnam strategy 2023. Let's come to real estate, shorter recovery pathway than last circle. Summary, we believe the real estate sector will continue to face near-term headwinds in 2023 from higher interest rates, potential funding constraints, and the subdued confidence of home buyers. However, the fundamentally strong Vietnamese economy and possibly positive policy changes support our view that the recovery of the sector could start in late 2023, weaker than the previous property down circle in 2008 to 2011. We forecast primary markets transactions to decline in 2023 as headwinds of fake home buyer confidence and the project launches of developers. However, the product segments focusing on real housing demand with affordable payment packages should outperform luxury and speculative properties, which suggests a reorientation of developers toward the affordable housing center. We believe BHM and NLG have advantages to capitalize on this unserved demand. The amendments to housing law and land law will have a significant impact on the overall sector and the project development of developers. According to the National Assembly, the amended housing law and land law will obtain approval in May and October 2023, respectively, after submissions to National Assembly and public feedback. We expect developers with strong financial positions and improvement track record of project developments. VHM, KDH, and NLG will have advantages to develop and monetize their land banks when these two laws are approved. For the long term, we reiterate our view that the key role drivers for Vietnam's, for Vietnam's housing center remain solid, including improving infrastructure, shrinking average household size, an emerging middle affluent class, and increasing mortgage penetration. Our top stock picks for our conservative outlook in 2023 are VHM, KDH, NLG, and VRE. We view VHM, KDH, and NLG as well positioned to weather the near-term headwinds due to their strong brand equity products, focusing on real housing needs and financially healthy positions. We like VRE due to its expected solid profit growth resulting from the opening of new malls and an overall margin improvement. Let's see on the screen and I will share you share with you guys about the key data of uh, real estate setter summary valuations.
near-term headwinds from liquidity issues, higher interest rates, and subdued confidence of home buyers. In 2022, activity was expected to recover strongly after the COVID-19 pandemic in terms of transaction volume from retail home buyers and selling prices. However, the sector was hit by multiple shocks starting in April 2022, including one, an effective freezing of the local corporate bond market, two, limiting credit growth room at banks for developers and their customers, three, a sudden increase in interest rates, four, home buyers losing confidence in developers, which all negatively affect the outlook for transparency. rate. Turbulence in corporate bonds markets due to investigations and policy changes. In 2020 and 2021, developers actively issue bonds to raise capital instead of bank loans for M&A activities and new project developments as the State Bank of Vietnam showed commitment in controlling real estate loans through increasing the risk rates for developer loans from 150% to 200% in 2019. However, the corporate bond market has exper experienced a slowdown since April 2022 due to investigations on bond issues from of unlisted developer Tân Hoàng Minh, with an aim to curb misconduct in the corporate bond market. The government promulgated Decree 65, please see our report, Decree 65 dated uh, the 19th September 2022 to supplements and amend Decree 153 dated the 31st December 2020 on the private placement, placement of corporate bonds. The Crescent 5 has restrained new bond issuance and demand in the short term due to stricter requirements for both bond issuers and investors. The investigation of unlisted real estate conglomerate Vantic Fat in October 2022 has further deteriorated investor confidence and triggered early redemption requests from bond bondholders. The developers who aggressively issue bonds in 2020 to 2021 are facing payment pressure from bonds maturing and redemption requests, and their refinancing plans are challenging due to the stricter supervision on bond issuance. Weak sentiment from bond investors and high interest rates. Corporate bond issu issuance value and real estate total insurance. Monthly bond Purchase repurchase in 11 months 2020, 2022. Limited credit growth room at banks for developer and home buyers. The SBB has controlled credit growth for the banking system via credit growth cover seen 2012. In 2022, credit growth has initially capped at 14% compares to actual credit growth of 13.61% in 2021. In the first eight months, 2022, credit growth for real estate sector was around 15.7% mainly for individuals with 20.1% credit growth while the credit growth for developers was 7.35%, exceeding the system-wide credit growth of 9.91% with the remaining credit room, the SBB has directed credit institutions to focus lending to uh, production, manufacturing, and business activities, especially priority setters, including agriculture exports, small to medium ex 
enterprise and support supporting industry industry sector. Therefore, home buyers face more challenges in assessing home loans and bank credit for developers was limited. Therefore, home buyers face more challenges in assessing home loans and bank credit for developers were limited. Bank credit for real estate. Higher interest rates make debt servicing more expensive for developers and home buyers. From late September to October 2022, the SBV raised policy rates by a total of 200 basis points. The deposit rate cap for less than six month terms increased from 4% to 6%. The sharp increase in interest rates has made that more expensive to service for both home buyers and developers. In our view, mortgage borrowers who are bearing floating loan repayments uh, amid high interest rates will face more challenges in their financial rearrangements. Meanwhile, and you, user buyers will be more cautious in their financial planning to make decisions regarding the purchase of a home. Mortgage rates by banks comparison from October to December 2022. Due to the recent interest rate highs, we expect developers will be more active to work with commercial banks to support their lending rate payments. For fixed rates of the first one to two years, and or extend the mortgage payment terms or buyers in the new supply of the primary residential markets. Developers will also have to bear higher interest payments and accept higher costs of debt for new loans, bonds, and may not be able to launch projects due to weak sentiments surrounding the real estate center interest rates and CPI in Vietnam. The confidence of home buyers in developers has declined. Weaker construction materials sales growth in 11 months 2022 also demonstrated the deterioration of the real estate market in 2022. Furthermore, credit constraints and high interest rates have slowed the construction of some projects of developers who are facing liquidity issues. As a result, the higher risks of developers falling, failing to complete projects on time has dampened the, the confidence of home buyers. Expecting relatively show, short recovery pathway due to positive structural drivers and policy movements. Sadder to face headwinds for most of 2023 recovery can start in late 2023. In this Q3 2022 market research, well-known market research consultant CBRE remained positive on 2023 to 2024 forward. Primary condo transaction volume in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi. With a 2022 to 2024 forward CAGR of 28%, also CBRE had more a uh, conservative view in Q3 2022 compared to Q2 2022 as it cut every gate 2022 to 2024 forwards transaction volume by around 12%. We believe the rational of CBRE's positive growth forecast for 2023 2024 forwards is driven by its expectation for improvements in projects legal stages and credit for developers. However, we believe the impact of higher interest rates than and potential funding constraints is likely to last throughout 2023, 
with a clearer recovery picture to start in late 2023 based on our pre-sales forecasts for developers under our coverage, including VHM, NLG, KDH, and DXG. We expect their combined pre-sales in 2023 to decline by 16% compares to 2022 forward and recovers 13% year year in 2024. CBRE's forecast of Ho Chi Minh City and Hanok primary condo market. The market can recover at a faster pace than after the 20, 2008 to 2011 down south circle. Looking back at the previous property down cycle in 2008-2011, it took two years for the real estate sector to experience a meaningful recovery after the SBV decreased the, the deposit cap rate in September 2011. Given our house interest rate forecast for upward pressure on real estate for uh, on um, interest rates to diminish uh in H2 2023 we forecast the real estate market will start to recover in late 2023 which is faster than the previous cycle our forecast is supported by our analysts analysis uh, comparing the current situation with the previous property crisis in 2008 to 2011. Although the real estate markets with both previous periods face headwinds from liquidity issues and higher interest rates, the current situation is fundamentally stronger additionally Possible policy changes could be a catalyst for a faster recovery. In 2008 to 2011, the real estate markets suffered from radical policy changes and a high dependence of developers on bank loans. The expansionary monetary policy in 2008 and seven and 2009 caused overheating credit growth at 51.4% and 37.7% respectively. At that time, real estate developers enjoyed easy funding capital from bank loans and speculation um, caused significant home price appreciation in the high end segments. The real estate markets experienced a downturn in 2008 and prolonged freeze in 2010 to 2013 when the government shifted to tightening monetary policy to control rising inflation, which resulted in a sharp 5 PPT jump in interest rates and substantial decline of home prices in the high end segments. This, this situation was worsened by the government's policy of, restric of restricting real estate lending under Resolution 11 and QCP. Markets transactions only started to recover when the SBV lowered interest rates in 2011 to 2013, and home prices bottomed out in Q4 2023. Since the previous down cycle, we believe there have been several positive structural changes in the real estate sector and overall economy that should facilitate a faster recovery from shocks. First, developers have diversified their sources of funding, including bank credit, um, corporate bonds, cash, 
collection from pre-sales and their own equity. Although the current corporate bond market has been frozen following scandals and the newly enacted decree 65, we believe proposed amend amendments to decree 65 will accelerate a recovery in the bond markets in turn supporting capital flows for real estate developers. With higher mortgage pen penetration, we also expect less constraints bank credit and declining interest rates will improve the credit accessibility of home buyers with real demands, thus supporting pre-sales launches for developers projects. Second, we expect the, the interest rate highs in this current cycle to have a less severe impact than in the 20, 2008 to 2011 cycle, thanks to a more prudent and flexible monetary policy. Meanwhile, we expect interest rates to peak in the current cycle by H1 2023, leading to less interest rate high pressure in H2 2023. Third, the current healthier banking system will provide headroom for the SBV to give adequate uh, system-wide credit growth in 2023 forward, which should partially improve liquidity in the real estate sector, especially for property developers with solid track records and real estate uh, projects will good legal status and uh, ad adequate collateral credit growth in 2000 and 2021. Historical primary corner conceptions in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi and average market rate. Comparison of 2008 to 2011 down cycle and 2021 to 2023 for our situation. Factor liquidity, 2008 to 2011, developers relied on bank loans and enjoy easy funding during a period of overheating credit growth prior to the down cycle. 2021 to 2023 forwards, developers have diversified their sources of funding via the bond markets and pre-sales cash flow. Developers aggressively issue bonds in 2020 and 2021, creating bond payment pressure primarily in 2023 to 2024. The sudden suspension of the bond markets has caused a liquidity crunch. Meanwhile, lower pre-sales are caused by limited credit room from banks and a sudden credit in interest rates. VCSC comments, implication developers have gradually reduced their reliance on bank credit, we expect the amendment of Decree 65 to support a recovery in the corporate bond market and home buyer confidence to return when interest rates decline. Monetary policy, 2008 to 2011. There are radical and inconsistent changes in monetary policy. Easing monetary policy in 2011 and 2009 led to high credit growth of 51.4% and 37.7% respectively. Sudden tightening monetary policy in 2008 and 2011 led to a high mortgage rate of 20% per year. 
2021 to 2023 forwards will control credit growth via credit growth coder mechanism since 2012. The SVV increases policy rates by two PPTS in 2022, which is less severe than the interest rates high in the in the 2008 to 2011 cycle. BCSC comments implication: the economy is more resilient with well-controlled inflation and consistent monetary policy, resulting in a lower increase in interest rates compared to the previous cycle. We expect less uh, pressure for higher interest rates in H2 2023 forward. Banking system, MPL loans of bank was 8.6% in 2012 and mainly from real estate loans due to is easy planning. 2021 to 2023 forwards, less exposure to real estate following the SBV's policies to control the risk of the banking system, which has led to limited growth of loans to developers rather than growth of mortgages. Meanwhile, banks own a small share of corporate loans. Implication, the health of the banking system it is better than the previous cycle due to a, an improved capital uh, adequacy ratio and stronger provisioning buffers. Mortgages, 2008 to 2011, low mortgage penetration with only 10% to 15% of home buyers using bank loan per hour estimates. 2021 to 2023 forwards the, part, the proportion of home buyers using mortgages in the primary condo market has increased to 40% uh, from 40% to 50% per hour estimates. We attribute this trend mainly to the lending developers and banks that have the innovating mortgage packages to enhance affordability for home buyers in the primary residential markets since 2018. Implication, if credit room is less constraints and interest rates cool down, home buyers with real demand can assess mortgage loans, which we believe should improve pre-sales and boost the project launches of uh, developers. Improving housing affordability could be a catalyst for recovery. In big cities, rising property prices have put pressure on affordability issues due to rapid urbanization and large populations. According to Nam Nambio, uh, a global data database for housing indicators, also the home price to income ratio of Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi is better than metropolitan areas in other countries in the region. Property prices in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi are still considered severely unaffordable. In Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi, the real estate market has seen a supply demand imbalance as mid and high end segments lead new supply in the primary market while there is a lack of affordable housing. We attribute the out, outreach of affordability for new projects in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi to limited land banks in both cities in addition to prolonged approval producers 
that uh, increase develop development costs. Therefore, developers who own land banks in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi would prefer developing high and mid end projects in order to maximize their profits. As a result, the soaring property prices have been beyond the reach of Vietnam's medium and low income classes. Additionally, limited credit room and higher interest rates have further dampened the purchasing power of home buyers. To support the real estate sector's recovery after the 2008 to 2011 slowdown, the SBV provided a total stimulus package with 30%, 30 trillion Vietnam zone, 1.3 billion US dollar of loans for affordable housing production and lending in 2013, which partly contributed to a recovery. By following a similar approach again, we believe improving housing affordability by reorienting developers to affordable housing with real demand and providing loan su support for home buyers and developers in that sense could stimulate the property markets due to the large demand for housing from middle and low income home buyers. Moreover, there were both directives from the government to address affordable housing in 2022. On the 14th December 2022, the Prime Minister directed the SBV to support real estate markets and housing development by lending and dispersing to social housing pro uh, projects, worker housing projects, and commercial housing with uh, regional market prices. Additionally, the government has guided to rem remedy unaffordability and has called for developers to invest in social housing and the Ministry of Construction has pro proposed to build a list at least one billion social house units in 2021 to 2030, which we believe should help to solve the mismatch between demand and supply over the long term. We view NLG and VHM as well positioned to capitalize on the orientation toward affordable housing. NLG is an experienced developer and has the proven brand e-home in the affordable housing markets, while NLG has expanded into mid and, and high-end products in recent years. We believe the company's expertise and large township land bank provide it with flexibility to expand its exposure to affordable housing. Meanwhile, BHM has the advantages of a large land bank and economies of scale to tap into the social housing segments with affordable pricing on a national scale with a total of 500,000 units over the next five years, according to the plan it announced at SHEM in 2022. Total primary corner new launches in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi. Possible Removal of red tape could support the seller's recovery. Since 2018, delays in the approval process of real estate projects have constrained the primary residential supplies, especially for small to medium-sized projects in Ho Chi Minh City. The red tape has created a bottleneck 
in Ho Chi Minh City's housing supply at high real demand for housing has contributed to rising home prices and a faded housing of affordability. If this red tape is resolved, then we believe an increase in supply for real housing needs could spur long-term status growth. In November 2022, the Prime Minister established a real estate task force to review long delayed projects and urge developers to accelerate their projects in Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi, and some other provinces. While we have not seen a specific timeline or solutions, this development shows the government's efforts to remove excessive red tape in the property markets. We expect projects that are developed by proven uh, developers with one, no conflict related to state ownership and two, solid legal status, but have been delayed since 2018 due to regu regulatory push producers to be uh, gradually pr processed. The removal of real estate should support developers with large land banks in Ho Chi Minh City among our coverage, the XG and has the GEM Riverside projects in Ho Chi Minh City, but its pre-sales launch has been long delayed due to prolonged legal producers. However, we believe a significant improvement might not take place in the short term. BCSC Residential Developer and Banks The current downturn will lead to sadder wide consolidation. We believe near-term headwinds should likely accelerate the consolidation trend in the market in turn benefiting leading de developers. We favor companies that have strong financial position, solid rent equity, diverse capital resources, and real housing product mixes, as we expect these uh, developers to be well positioned to weather headwinds. Furthermore, developers who have been able to survive turbulence periods should gain the interest of home buyers. And that brings me to the end of my presentation about Vietnam strategy 2023 today with the real estate. If you want to open a legal trading account, don't hesitate to contact with us with the information on the screen so that we can assist you. So thank you for your attention and see you next time.